From organic gardening to eco-friendly transportation. Michael Loki has his own ideas about how to do it well. You might recognize the name. Loki grew up in the car business and his family owns several local dealerships. So it's no wonder that his passion revolves around cylinders and big wheels. However, it's his green approach to these gas guzzling vehicles that may surprise you. Take a look. You might not think so at first, especially looking at what he drives, but Mike Loki is actually the green sheep of his family. The third generation car dealer uses his passion for big wheels as a vehicle for sustainable energy advocacy. When I found out about this technology and people doing this, I was drawn to it and, uh, and found out that I could have a, a big uh, fun truck that I could run on a fuel that comes from a renewable resource that uh, scrubs carbon from the, uh, from the environment and is free to run. Loki competed in the Baja 1000, driving all the way from Tampa to Baja, California and back on used vegetable oil. Well, we originally built this truck so that we could demonstrate that, you know, a vegetable oil could be run in a modern vehicle and it doesn't get more complex of an engine than the Duramax. It really was uh, born out of two desires, one to prove the, the theory and also one to experience that race and it was incredible. Converting his personal vehicles wasn't enough, though. Loki saw a bigger picture. When I started really thinking about how hard it is to get one person to change their vehicle and what impact that had in the environment, I realized that if there was a customer out there who had a lot more vehicles, then that would have a bigger impact on the environment. He convinced Chris Bentley at Legacy Sea Products in Orlando, a fresh seafood company, to begin converting his fleet of delivery trucks to run on vegetable oil. We started this business arrangement with Mike Loki uh, after doing some research this summer when fuel prices reached 450 a gallon for diesel. We were listening to our customers who were complaining about the fuel surcharge that we had to impose during that time, and we thought, there's got to be a better way. How can we control this? After the initial startup costs and time to convert the legacy fleet, the average conversion on one of our uh, vehicles is somewhere in the neighborhood of about four thousand dollars per vehicle. It takes about two days for them to convert it and uh, very painless seamless uh, operation for us. It didn't take long for Bentley to see the results. Each one of our trucks burns about three to four hundred gallons of diesel fuel a week which now has been converted to waste vegetable oil. So we have about a ten week return on the investment of the truck. In other words, in 10 weeks, the conversion had paid for itself. And the best part for Bentley was the new fuel was coming from his own customers. Traditionally, restaurants have been paying to have waste vegetable oil removed from their facilities. And we said, well, we need that resource. And we thought, okay, we we'll approached them and said, does this make sense to you? And most everybody said, yes, I really, that's a great idea. And that's how we got to uh, get started. It's a win-win situation for participating restaurants because they don't have to pay for waste removal. Plus, legacy customers no longer have to pay a fuel surcharge. And Bentley says there have been other unexpected benefits too. We've actually been able to employ more people and still not increase our operations costs by the savings that we've used, we've utilized in the uh, waste vegetable oil. The other thing is we've noticed that we've had customers that are Restaurants call in that were not currently customers with us and had heard about our program and decided they wanted to be a part of that. So that's been a, a great benefit for us. Mike Loki says he expects more companies will get on board when they realize how ideal Florida is for vegetable oil conversion. We're actually the second largest consumer of diesel in the U.S. And we have the climate to make collecting vegetable oil easy. So you can collect it, filter it, and burn it easier. And beyond that, we have a huge agricultural industry that's looking for new crops to expand into. So Florida is very quickly becoming the Silicon Valley, if you will, of liquid alternative fuels, especially with vegetable oil.